Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today, I'm going to read more mouse facts. I have no mouse. Frost isn't in this um, thing right here. I'm just still going to show it because I have really nothing to show. Because my charger is plugged in and my charger cannot reach the whole way over to my mouse cage. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep reading the mouse facts. I'm going to put my phone right here. You guys can just listen. Um, if you have two or more male mice, they may try to show off he, who is boss by gnawing off bits of the other's fur. This is called barbing. Sometimes mice do this to themselves if they are unhappy. People think that they may have ringworm, but they actually just barbing. Um, Ringworm is more unusual skin problems. It call it is caused by some kinds of fungi that can grow on animal skins. Ringworm will cause round patches on mouse skin that will clear that will, that with clear red that look dry, scaly, bumpy, and red with clear in the middle. Well, mice will with ringworm often scratch and may get bald patches too. Some you can treat ringworm with creams and medicine from a veterinarian. Yes. Um that's true. I my mouse It's not like ringworm. My mouse never had ringworm. It's good. Um Yeah. So I'm going to read you the next fact right now. You can treat ringworm with a special cream from the veterinarian. Ringworm can spread from one mouse to another. If you, if one of your mice gets stringworm, you could put it in a different cage until it gets better. Um, yeah. Cuts. Okay. Sometimes mice get cuts or wounds when they are running around. If this happens, take care of your mouse because cuts can get infected very easily. Keep him alone in a clean cage and keep checking the area around the cut. If an, an abscess develops, which looks like a big spot or blister, take your mouse to the veterinarian immediately. Um, yeah, never happened to my mouse, but it's good. If you stroke or handle your mice every day, it will soon notice. You, you will soon notice if it, they have usual, unusual lumps or bumps. Um, mice can become very become seriously sick qu quite quickly, so watch out for any changes. If you if you have any of your mice, if any of your mice have have any sick symptoms go to a veterinarian symptoms means signs of illness um this is i'm gonna show you guys a quick picture of what healthy like you know turds healthy droplings should look like right now they should look like that yeah so that's what they're supposed to look like the mouse shows of being quite sick that should be taken to a veterinarian is this this is this mouse shows signs of you know being sick and stuff because roughed up for um I got something I printed these pictures off the internet um mice that are sick often try to hide in the corner of the cage so if you see your Mouse hiding on the corner of the cage, it's probably sick. Um, mice sometimes get breathing problems because they have inhaled too much aramia, it, a chemical in urine. To avoid this, make sure that they have be clean bedding. That's why, that's one reason why you should, you know. A few lucky and you take care of your mice, they will live for two or even three years. Many mice are healthy and strong for most of their lives, and they will get older. Most will have some health problems. 
Older mice sleep a lot. They may not want to play with with you but very much anymore, but you can still enjoy their company. Yeah. So, after your mouse dies, um, you can keep a record of your mouse's progress from the day she arrives home with you. She, You could add photos of the first time she climbed on your arms or played in her wheel. You could add photos of her, your mouse playing with her favorite toys and write about the funny things she did or did or the game she plays. Yeah, so that's So that's it for today. See you guys later. Bye.